Shalom Yashirana Shalom. Rakat the Yahweh, Rakat the Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah, Kodash. Noble honors to the apostles and elders of Green Millstone, teach one who well, peace and salutation at Akim, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth and risk their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwa to listen and listen and learning, Shalawah. Shabbat Shema, here once again, week in, week out, we prophesy the downfall of this place, Babylon. Right? Prophesy the downfall of this place. This wicked place. Week in and week out. You know? This place is slated to be destroyed, man. You know? America the Great. And the more we look at it, the more and more we see wickedness increasing. And the more and more we see folly. You know? But we'll get right into it. We'll open our scripture. And this is what we do week in, week out, right? This is a commandment. This is red letter. Yahweh Shai said this. Luke 22, Salah, Luke 14, verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled, right? So I see this truth, the hopeful elect. We're out here on the highways and the hedges, man. Right? Compelling, compelling me to force. Right? Right? You know? The hopeful elect that's out there that still may be among the two-thirds to come in to this truth, to be saved. Right? That's why we do this, as well as to get the blood out, the blood off our hands. Right? As well as to get the blood off this, our hands. Because we fear, we fear Yahweh Bashim Shai. Right? But uh, I wanted to get into, uh, on my way and I got this news article. And it's just gonna, gives you an example of the folly, the folly of uh, the bread and circuses, man. You know, but right now, right now if you look, If you look at uh, the news articles, if you look at the state of the uh, America the Great, this article came out today on NBC News. I'll just read the headline, then we'll go into some scriptures. Word will it. But it said, uh, thanks killing travel this year could strain people's wallets and patience. More than 53 million people plan to travel over the thanks killing holiday, according to AAA. Air travel up by 80% since last year, right? So. This is an example of bread and circus, man. All hell's about to break loose. Right? All hell's about to break loose. And, 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 and this is the this is the spirit. That 53 million. 53 million people in America are in. Right? Ecclesiastes 7. Right? They ain't got the eyes to see, man. No eye salve out here. No eye salve. No eyes to see, don't know what's coming. Ecclesiastes 7, verse 9, I believe. Ecclesiastes 7, verse 4, and it reads, The heart, right, heart be mine, of the wise is in the house of mourning, right? Who are the wise? The elect, beginning with the elect, right? And where's our minds? You know, the house of mourning, man, right? Why is our, why, why is our minds in the house of mourning? Because we know this truth, right? It's frustrating, man. Mournful, frustrating, that's why we wear the sackcloth, garments of mourning, you know? You tell two thirds what's coming, because we, because you have the eyes off to see, and they, they don't, they don't get it, man. You know what I mean? But then you have to revert to the scriptures and know that the most I put the spirit on two thirds of people not to get it. This is only for the elect, right? Ecclesiastes seven verse four. 
the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. Right, and we see that with that article. 53 million people planning to travel for Thanksgiving. That's the heart of fools, the minds of fools, man. All hell's about to break loose. And this is the mind that this is the mind state that they're in, man. You know what I mean? The house of mirth, right? Going back to normal, right? These mofos out here, these, 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 these fools out here, juiced up. For vanity, man. For things that have no value, for emptiness, to travel? Are you kidding me? The serpent's kiss to travel. Right? Let's get a uh, look. Let's get a uh, look. Matthew 13. Right to travel. That was a mirth. Right, the fools. The minds of the, the minds of the fools are in the house of mirth, man. Right? And Esau is about to lock this thing down again, man. The article came out today that Austria is going forward with uh, disallowing the unjuiced. Matthew, 20, Matthew 13, verse 10, and it reads, 9, verse 9, it reads, yeah, I wish I said this, our Lord. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Right? Only the elect's going to hear this, man. Two-thirds of our people ain't going to hear this. You see, the nations is not for you. But two-thirds of our people are not going to hear this, man. Right? Why are they not going to hear it? Because the Most High has blocked their minds. Right? So that they don't hear it, right? They're slated for destruction. Right? He's slated for destruction, man. Right? Two thirds of our people. Verse 10, Matthew 13, verse 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, why speakest thou unto them in parables? Right? The disciples are asking you, shy why is he speaking in code? Right? And here was your, here was your Yahushai's answer. Read that. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Right? So, the elect are going to hear, the elect are going to see, the elect are going to know, the elect are going to be watching for prophecies. Right? But two-thirds of our people are not. Two-thirds of you Israelites, Israel being a people before a place, are not going to take heed to what's coming. This is our this is this is our this is our living sacrifice, you know. As a matter of fact, let's get that. All right, this is our living sacrifice. Romans 12, verse 1, it reads, "I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by mercies of Yahweh, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service." Right. So. We, 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 this is our reasonable service, man. Right? This is our reasonable service. 
this is a living sacrifice. Right? Coming out here on the highways and hedges, adding the elements, pushing his word, prophesying the downfall of America the Great, Babylon the Great. Right? Telling two thirds of our people to repent. Right? Luke chapter, I want to get a scripture. It came to mind and it slipped. It's a lot. Luke chapter 12, verse 24, 54, Salak. Luke chapter 12, verse 54. Right, but yeah, this is our reason, this, this, this is our living sacrifice, man. Right? Luke chapter 12. Verse 54, and it reads, And he said also to the people, red letter, Yahweh Shai said this, When ye see a cloud rise out of the west, straightway ye say, straightway ye say, there cometh a shower, and so it is. And when ye see the south wind blow, ye say, there will be heat, and it cometh to pass. Here's the point, verse 56. Ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, and of the earth, but how is it that ye do not discern this time? Right, and, and these are the times we're in, man. Right, ye hypocrites can't discern the time. Right, two thirds of our people can't discern the time that they're in. Man. Well, what time are we in right now? The time of destruction is coming, man. A time of great wrath. Right, Esau is about to roll. Esau Edom is about to roll with his wicked devices, man. Right, and what are his wicked devices? His MOTB, his serpent juice, these mandates, these restrictions, these unrighteous decrees. Let's get that. Right? Eventually leading into a sword. He's going to use a sword. Because Esau's running out of patience, man. He knows he has but a short time. Revelation 12, verse 12. Right? He knows he has but a short time. Isaiah 10, verse 1, and it reads, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees right and who does that decrees unrighteous decrees Esau man right the ruling class elites right the so called the so called white man right these banking families right these international bankers and that right grievous salak and that right grievousness which they have prescribed right these pre written laws with the stroke of a pen they pass through their senate right through their, through their, through their, through the legislation. That's what Esau does, right? But the scriptures say, woe unto them, right? Verse two, to turn aside also the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor. Hey, you see yourself on this list right here? You see yourself here? You do? Which one? Huh? Yeah, Jake, two thirds. You want to hear this word? Right? Strikes me as Jake. Maybe Jake. Verse 2. Isaiah 10, verse 2. To turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor. Right? Esau, man. With his unrighteous decrees, his mandates. His restrictions, right? He's about to use his sword, right? And take away the right from the poor of my people, right? You Israelites, you so-called indigenous, you so-called Latino, you so-called Negro, right? right Jacob, has, Jacob has a perpetual hatred, Salah. Esau has a perpetual hatred for Jacob, man. Right, this goes back to the, this goes back to the birthright. Ezekiel 35. Ezekiel 35. The points in five. We'll read verse one. 
Ezekiel 35, verse 1. Moreover, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, right? Son of man, Ezekiel, who's representative, who's representative of the elect. Set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it, right? Isn't that what we're doing right now? Setting our face, standing in boldness against Esau, right? Mount Seir being America the Great, Babylon the Great, being Esau, you Edomites. Are we standing in great boldness? Setting our face against, setting our face against you, right? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, prophesying against, it, right? Let's read that again. Ezekiel 35, verse 2. Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it, right? And what do we prophesy? We prophesy the downfall of America the Great, Babylon the Great. We prophesy the destruction. We prophesy the, 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 the return of Yahweh Shai with the hosts of heaven. We prophesy repentance for Israel, Israel being a people before a place. Right? And no one else, no one else can partake of that covenant. Verse 3, and say unto it, say unto who? Esau, Edom, America the Great. And say unto it, thus saith Yahweh power, behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee. And I will make thee most desolate, right? So the Most High Yahweh Shemuel Shai is against America, man. And she will be destroyed with thermonuclear heat. Thus said the scriptures, man. Right? We see, we see the rumors of war waxing worse, right? America the Great just made an announcement that they're uh, trying to develop or are going to develop a hypersonic missile. This is in response to the hypersonic missile that uh. China launched in August, man. Right? So yeah, rumors of war, man. And that's how America the Great, Babylon the Great, will be destroyed by thermonuclear heat. Verse 4, Ezekiel 35, verse 4. I will lay thy cities waste, right, America, and thou shalt be desolate, right, destroyed, by thermonuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles, right? And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh. Here's the point, verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end, right? So because Esau has gone forth trying to destroy Jacob, perpetual, from the beginning of time, hatred towards Jacob, Right? Recompense is coming. Isaiah 10, verse 2. To turn aside the needy from judgment, right, you Israelites, and to take away the right from the poor of my people, you Israelites. And that's how Esau takes away, that, that's, that's what Esau does with his laws and his decrees and his mandates, right? Take away the right and the poor from the poor of his people that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fathers, right? And that's what Esau does, man. Rape, rob, murder, and steal, right? Doesn't it say in John 10, the thief cometh to kill, murder, and destroy? And that's Esau, man. Right? I stopped that lady. To, uh, give the good news, the gospel. I didn't get in to find out where she was from, but uh, two thirds of her people, they don't want to hear it, man. John, verse 10, verse 10, red letter. Yahweh Shai said this, and it reads, The thief cometh not but to steal. It's a lot. But for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Right? And that's what the, that's what Esau, Esau Edom has come to do, man. That's been his MO from day one. Kill, murder, rob, steal, destroy. That's been his MO. And he's still doing it. He's still doing it. He hasn't stopped. Right? He hasn't stopped. It's just cloaked in in in, in, in laws, governances, mandates, decrees, bylaws. 
right? But he's about to get he's about he's about to get fed up and use his sword, right? He's about to get fed up and use what he's blessed with his sword, right? His military might. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have slack, and that they might have it more abundantly, right? How shy, right? And who's that? Who's that too? The elect. Ultimately, the whole the whole house of Israel. But the elect on this side, right? The elect on this side. Two thirds of our people gotta die by pain and come back through the loins of the elect in the kingdom, right? And why are they gonna die by 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 pain on this side? Because they didn't hear, they didn't hearken, right? Isaiah, Isaiah. Verse 12 And it reads Therefore Verse 11 Isaiah 65 verse 11 But ye are they that forsake Yahweh Right you two thirds That forget my holy mountain That prepare a table for that troop And that furnish the drink offering Unto that number Right here 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 Pursing these other doctrine, doctrines, they're pushing these other doctrines, these false leaders, these false pastors, pushing, pushing Christianism, Buddha, all these other doctrines, everything but Yahweh pushing me outside. Right? These harlot houses, right? Nothing but the truth. You don't you don't speak the truth to our people, right? Right? And you scoff when you hear the truth. Verse 12. Therefore, Will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter, because when I called, ye did not answer, right? When the Most High reached out to you, how does he reach out to you? Through his prophets, right? You scoff, you don't want to hear it, like that lady who just walked by, man. you know? And I don't know, I don't, I don't know, maybe, maybe she was an Israelite, she had the appearance of an Israelite, right? Interaction would have, would have revealed that through the Spirit, but she had the appearance, right? And she didn't want to hear, man, right? She saw the sign. I said, I asked if she saw herself on the sign. Man. She said, yes. I said, which one are you? She said, I got to go. <laughs> right? For this knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding, man. To pull us out of the, to pull us out of the darkness. Because we all came out. We all came out of the world, man. We all came out of the world. We all came. We were all once two-thirds, man. We came out of the world, man. You know? All praise and all power, all glory to the Most High Yahweh Shemuel for giving us, for giving us this knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding, this truth. Because in the world, man, in the world, in the world I was through, right? In the world I was on the path, I was on the path to be destroyed, man. Right? Give thanks daily to the water Yahweh Shemuel Shai by Shem Rakat Kodash for this knowledge, this wisdom. Because we, we'd be at two thirds right now. Right now, I, right now, I would be a two-thirds right now if I didn't wake up to this truth, man. If I didn't hear the call on the path of destruction. Maybe destroyed. Isaiah 66, 65, verse 12. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spoke, ye did not hear, but did evil before my eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not, right? You chose everything else, man. But Yahweh B'Shem Yahushai, man. And that's why you're going to be allocated to the sword. Two-thirds are going to be destroyed on this side, man. Two-thirds. Right? Jay, Jay can't see. Jay can't see it. Romans 13, verse 11. And these are the times we're in. And it reads, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep, right? Out of the congregation of the dead man. Right? 
for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe, right? Now, now, it is high, now it is high time to wake out of sleep. The, 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 the gates of mercy, the doors of mercy are closing, man. right? The doors of mercy are closing. Look at that. Call Allah, Yahweh, B'Shim, Yashai, B'Shim, Rakan, Kadash. 444, right? I, I just said that the, the, the doors of mercy are closing. 444 on the phone, right? Four is four symbolic of mercy, man. You know what I mean? It's closing, right? Repent. I wanted to get a scripture. It's in Proverbs. Proverbs. Proverbs 21 verse 16. Right? This is this is this is a state of two-thirds of our people, man. Proverbs 21 verse 16. Under a school boy. Yeah. Proverbs 21 verse 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead, right? You, you don't have this knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding, right? Which is this light, which is this truth in, within these scriptures. You're going to remain, you're, you're, you're destined for destruction, man. You're going to remain in the congregation of the dead, man. Right? That's your, that's your, that's, that, that's your lot. Right? Destruction. Right? Right? Now it's time to wake out of sleep. Now it's time to repent. But once these doors close, and we see it, once Esau cut that switch, once Esau say, once Esau says, no more highways and byways for you unjuiced. You can't leave your house. Like what they're doing in Austria, Austria, in Europe, right now in real time, which is coming to America. Once they say no more highways and hedges, that's no more word going out on the street, man. Once they say, once they say no, once big tech steps in. And tries to uh, provide a solution to social media and freedom of speech. Once censorship steps it up a notch, that's it for this word, man. Amos 8. And that's when the door of, of, of mercy is closed. So you, Jake, out here have a short time. Destruction's coming. Amos 8, verse 11, and it reads. Behold, meaning look, right? Look, the days come, saith Yahweh power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst, but of hearing the words of Yahweh, right? And this is what's coming, man. A fam not a famine of bread, nor for a thirst of water, right? This is what's coming. You're not gonna be able to hear this word, man. This gospel, this good news. When these doors close, it's done. It's done for you, Jake. Most is not gonna say nothing. No, most is not gonna look. Most is not gonna hear you. And that's when you're gonna cry on your false gods, on your Caesar Borgier. That's when you're gonna reach out and cry, right? That's when Jake's gonna get it. But by then it's too late, right? And the most I, the most is not gonna deal with you. The most ain't got nothing to say. Right? And this is what the Mosai is going to say. Judges chapter 10, verse 14, verse 13, and it reads, Yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods. Right? You're doing that right now. You two thirds of Jake out here, man. Serving, serving idols. Serving, serving Caesar boys here. Right? Serving the moon god. Right? Everything but Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right? Yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods, wherefore I will deliver you no more. Right? The most I'm not going to deliver you when all hell breaks loose, when Jacob's trouble breaks loose. Verse 14 Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Right? The most is going to tell you, go cry to them, man. Let them save you. Right? The most high, the omnipotent, omnipotent 
the all uh, the, uh, the, the, the Almighty Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, right? He's gonna tell you to cry to these God, cry to your idols, right? Go and cry unto the gods which you have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation, right? That crucifix you got around your neck, around your neck, Jake. That ain't gonna save you, man. The Most High is not dealing with that, right? The Most High is not dealing with that, man. Come out of that, Jake. Return to the true power. Return to He. Return to He who owns you, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. That's who you gotta return to, man. There's no time for games. There's no time. Amos 8 verse 12 And they shall wander from sea to sea And from the north even to the east They shall run to and fro To seek the word of Yahweh By Hashem, Yahweh Shai And shall not find it Right, this is what's coming man This famine in the word By then you're done Jake By then you're finished Right I'm gonna close out I didn't know it was this cold man Dress. We're gonna close out but through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bishim Yahweh Shai. You know, this word came out. You know? Matthew 24. Right? Jake, and Jake, Jake, think, Jake think this is gonna go on forever. This place is through. This place is done. Matthew 24 verse 1 And Yahweh Shai went out and departed from the temple and his disciples came to him for to show him the building of the temple and Yahweh Shai said unto them See ye not all these things? Verily, truthfully, I say unto you there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down Right, everything's gonna be destroyed, man and this was the most uh, this was the Shai prophesying the 70 AD, right? But this applies to now. When Yahushai, when Yahushai and the holy angels come through, nothing's gonna be left, man. This place is gonna be a desert. It's gonna be made a desert. Thus saith the scriptures. Verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be? And what sign? Salak, and what shall be the sign of thy coming? And of the end of the world, right? Salak. Verse 2 is going into now, not 78. It's going into the end of the world, man. It's going into the destruction, right? Let's read that again. Verse 2. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down, right? It's all going to be wasted. Thermal nuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. Yeah, I wish I said this. And then the disciples ask, well, what are the signs? What, are the, what is the precursor to this happening? Right? And Yahweh Shai answered, verse 4, and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Verse 5, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Amashiach, and shall deceive many. Right? False teachers. Lying. Teaching a false doctrine. We're in that time. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. Right, the elect, we're not troubled. Us and this truth. The hopeful elect, we're not troubled. Because we have the cheat code in these scriptures. It's telling us these things are going to happen. While two years are people bug out. While these heathen nations bug out. We're not troubled. We have comfort in these scriptures, man. Right? For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Right? He's tell Yahweh Shai is telling you. These things have to happen, man. So no, we're not gonna buck out. We're just gonna look to the Lord and wait on the Lord. Pray for mercy in the time of trouble that's coming. And pray for deliverance, pray for salvation. When Yahweh Shai shows himself. Verse seven, for nation shall rise against nation. See that, we're in that time. And kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Right, we're in that time, man. These are the times you're in right now. 
right? Verse 7, verse 8, Salah, verse 8. All these are the beginning of sorrows, right? These are the beginnings of sorrows. These are the times we're in right now. Repent, Jake. You ain't got time. These doors are closing. Esau's about to show a sewer. Right? Esau's about to come down having great wrath. Because he knows he has but a short time. Revelation 12, verse 12. He knows he has, a, has but a short time. Ezekiel 21. Right? And this diabolical madman's getting ready to show us to, 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 to use his sword. Ezekiel 21, verse 9, and it reads, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith Yahweh. Say, a sword, a sword is serpent. And also furbish, right? Esau sharpened his sword, right? His military might, his mandates, his, his pharmacia, right? His juice, right? Ultimately leading into MOTB, right? This is the sword that's being sharpened. Verse 10, it is sharpened to make a sword slaughter. It is furbish that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? Right. Should we be party, party and bullshit? Should we be happy? Should we not be? Should we not discern the times? This sword's about to cut through Jake. Two thirds of Israel. With no mercy, repent. Oh, damn, young. These death angels aren't gonna, are, are, are gonna, are gonna, are gonna, are gonna care, man. These death angels aren't gonna pity. Death angels aren't going to play around, man. Verse 11. It's like verse 10. It contemneth the rod of my son as every tree, and he hath given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened. Close out. This sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. Right? And who's the slayer? Esau Edom. He's gonna hold this sword, man. Yahweh Shai gonna use Yahweh Yahweh Shai is gonna use Esau as his sword to do what? Mow through Jake, two thirds of our people. Right? We're gonna close out. I pray edify. I don't want to just out. Call a lion la, a la hayanawa, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawa Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kwadash. Kwam Yashrala, Abad, Babal.